All right, so I've got a Lenovo, um, let's see, it's a Lenovo ThinkPad Edge, uh, model E545. And this computer has been brought to me because it's running very slow. Um, I opened up Task Manager. You can get there by going to the Start button, right-clicking, and going to Task Manager. And I've switched to the Performance tab. So what this is showing me is that the CPU, the processor, it's running at 3.3-ish gigahertz, and it's at 100% usage. Um, it's only got two CPU cores. And basically, this is the reason it's slow. Um, whenever you look at performance monitor, when you're trying to figure out what's making a computer slow, you want to look at these, these four things. Sometimes there's five if you've got a, a good uh, graphics processor. Um, but uh, typically what I see is that the, uh, the disk is, uh, is the reason, and this will be at 100% nonstop, but this is a solid state drive, and I think I actually did the solid state drive upgrade on this computer. The RAM is, uh, it's got 12 gigabytes, some of it's used for uh, for the internal graphics chip, but only 29% is being used, whereas the CPU is at 100%, and it pretty much stays pegged at 100%. So what I'm gonna be doing is replacing the processor in here. Um, most laptops, uh, newer laptops, you can't do this on. The processor is soldered to the motherboard and you can't change it. But on this one, we're gonna be going from a two core processor to a four core processor. Um, what I've done is I've ordered a replacement. The current one in here is a AMD A6 5350M. I've ordered a, um, an A10 version and it's got uh, four CPU cores. So it's gonna be double the processing power and I think it may run at a slightly faster speed in gigahertz as well. The, um, the thing I'm not 100% sure on is whether or not this, this chip is going to work. So just ordered it off of eBay. And what I did is I bought a processor in the same line as this one. So it's in the 5000 series line. And it should work. Unfortunately, um, Lenovo just doesn't provide information on CPU upgrades for this computer. So the only way to know for sure is to basically replace it and see if it works. And this has got pins on it, so you have to be pretty careful not to bend them. If you do, if you do bend these, or if they come bent, it's a matter of getting in there with something small and unbending them. This all looks good, though. <laughs> a little bit of stuff probably came off of this piece of whatever that is. But they all look straight. The chip isn't clean, though. Looks like it's got some thermal compound from when it was installed in another computer. I'm just gonna rub that off with a bit of paper towel. So it's a AMD A10 5700M. So it's the 5000 series, which matches up with what we got here. I'm thinking it'll work, but let's see. I'm gonna click start, go to power, and hold down shift at the same time I press shut down. What that does is it turns the computer all the way off. Otherwise, um, the computer may go into a hybrid sleep where it's kind of just sleeping but not completely powered off. And for this, we really want it powered off. All right, we'll do shut down anyway. And it's off. And according to the user manual, which Lenovo does provide for this, laptop. It's a matter of getting under this piece right here and the uh, the processor's right there. So let's eject the battery and looks like we need to take this guy off first. So there's a CMOS battery and the Wi-Fi adapter if you wanted to replace or upgrade those. Upgrade the Wi-Fi adapter anyway. Okay, so three screws and then should pop off. There we go. All right, processor's under here and we also need to, I think, take out the fan first. Let's go ahead and do that. So far, all the screws are captive. They're not gonna come out. So I'll pull out 
the fan cable and there's the fan, we'll blow some dust out of it. And then the CPU cooler, looks like it's just held in with four screws and they're, they're numbered one, four, three, two, one, and that's the order you're supposed to take them out in. Two, one. Okay. Looks like it's kind of jammed in up here. There we go. Cool. All right. So there's thermal compound. Let's go ahead and get it cleaned off from the cooler. I'm just going to reach in here and scrape it off. That's good, and we will scrape it off the the current processor, which this isn't 100% necessary, but I like to get off at least some of the thermal compound of a chip before I go taking it out. This thermal compound uh, doesn't like to be cleaned off things. Um, okay, so we need to remove the CPU, and for that I'm just going to use a flathead screwdriver. What you do is you rotate this counterclockwise 180 degrees, and I'll, I don't know if you all saw that, but it kind of slides the, the whole processor one direction toward me. I should be able to reach in, pull it out, lay it down, and then the new processor has a triangle on one corner which matches up with a triangle on the socket. Just set it in place. It dropped in, good sign. Then we will rotate this back 180 degrees. That's in. All right, let's do some new thermal compound. I'm just gonna put a short line right across the die. And when I put the cooler back on, that will spread out and cover the entire die of the processor. All right, before we go putting stuff back in, let's blow dust out. All right, so. Wasn't much in there. I'll do the fan. Quite a bit came out from there. And whenever you blow uh, dust out of a fan, it's good to hold on to it so it can't spin. All right, so cooler in first. So this. Went in like that, or came out like that, and then down. There we go. And I'm going to put in the screws. Do four, three, two, one. So that was just getting them started. Now I'm going to go back and tighten them down. Two, one. Okay, and cooling fan goes like that. We'll put its screws in. Same thing, just get them started and then tighten them down. And we can reconnect the fan. So if you were in here wanting to do a RAM upgrade, the two slots are right here. And these just come apart right here. 
and that lets you take the RAM out. There's two there, and the hard drive or solid state drive is right here. Looks like it's held it with a couple of screws and it comes out. All right, well, let's, uh, let's get this thing back together. Backside in. All right. I probably should try this before I go putting it completely together, but really, it's just uh, it's not very many screws. So if I have to take it back apart and put back the old processor because this new one doesn't work. It only took like a minute. So battery in, set to the lock position. Uh, let's go ahead and give it power. And power it on. If we get video, it's a good sign. We got video, I think it worked. Okay, so it's BitLocker encrypted and we type in the password. All right, so we're booting up into Windows. Well, I can tell it booted up faster. Let me get logged into Windows. All right, so we're back to Task Manager. We've got four CPU cores. It's still at 100%, but the computer booted up a whole lot faster than it did before. I think it's redetecting hardware. Yeah. So if we right click on Start, and go to device manager and processors. There it is, the A10 and it's showing four cores. So, so far the CPU is still pegged at 100%, but the computer is much more responsive. It's easily double the speed. Um, see here, it actually, it went down below 100% for a second there. So what the computer is doing right now is um, it's starting everything up, all the programs that start up in the background. There's some kind of a workplace update app that's using a lot of percentage of uh, CPU, and now it's service host policy. Back to performance, yeah. So now it's at least dipping down, and the computer's much more responsive. So this computer, this is as fast and as capable as this computer can be. This is the best processor. Uh, it might could take a little bit more RAM, but I don't think it would make a difference to the way they use the computer. And the uh, the solid state drive is uh, is doing a really good job. It, it had uh, it was up pretty close to 100% before, but look here, within like two minutes of it booting up, it's down under 100% of CPU time or CPU usage. Whereas before it was just pegged at 100% the entire time, no matter what the computer was doing or not doing. And I'm curious. Let's start up Chrome. I think it, yeah. Yeah, so that used to take over a minute to start up and that was not even 10 seconds. Okay, so much better. Um, I think they'll be happy with it. But that's how you upgrade the processor on a uh, Lenovo ThinkPad Model E 545. Thanks for watching.